Hi there, not many of us have access to an anamorphic lens, so in this video I'm going to show you how to kind of recreate the anamorphic look using DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to show you how to do this in three easy steps. Obviously this is not the same as shooting with a real life anamorphic lens, but it at least lets us add that anamorphic flavour to any video or film. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve, we've got this clip in a timeline, this is a 16 by 9 aspect ratio clip. We're going to go and make this look a bit more anamorphic. The first thing we're going to do with this is we're going to change the aspect ratio to 2.39 to 1 to give us that anamorphic feel. I've already got a full video on how to do this in Resolve so I'm just going to use a quick and dirty approach in this demo. All I'm going to do is drag this 2.39 to 1 aspect ratio PNG over the top of our footage. We'll just close the media pool and I'll drag this PNG across and you can see that straight away we've got that anamorphic aspect ratio feel. Select the video file come up and open up the inspector and then use this position Y control to create the composition that you want as before and that's after. If you're planning to use these techniques, it's a good idea to bear them in mind when you're actually filming the video, so you don't have to move things up and down too much in the editing. For step two, open up the effects here, click on open effects and search for lens distortion. Grab the lens distortion effect and drag it down onto your footage. You can then close the effects tab. I'm just going to disable this layer to take away the black bars and we can see the effect that this lens distortion is having. Grab any one of these three sliders because by default they're all linked together and just adjust the amount of distortion that you want. You don't want to go this way, you actually want to go and create this barrel shape effect. Let's try about 0.33. You can see now we've got this black space all around the outside of the image. If you try to come over to the video section here and just use the zoom controls, notice that that's just zooming what's inside and it's not actually helping us fill in those black spaces. So I'm just going to reset that. Instead what you need to do is come back to the effects and this time search for transform. Grab this resolve FX transform effect down onto your footage and once again close the effects and you can see on the right here we've got our lens distortion and underneath that we've got the new transform effect. You can use the zoom control here to try and get rid of those black spaces. While you're doing this it's a good idea to turn back on your PNG layer and then just adjust the zoom control here to fill up these spaces on the left and right. You can drag the numbers here to get more fine control. You can also use the position Y here now to move this image up and down. This is a bit of a quick and dirty method. If I just turn off the PNG overlay, you can see that the center of this distortion is actually not quite in the center of the screen. So the distortion won't quite look the same all the way around. There's more complicated ways that you can achieve this effect and keep that distortion centered. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do a video on that. Let's take a look at this. I'll just go full screen and you can see around the edges we've got a little bit of distortion. You can see on this lamp post here that it's kind of bending a little bit. And that's step two complete. Because we have to digitally zoom in a bit here, make sure you film at the highest resolution you can if you're planning on using this technique. All right, on to step three. Come back to the effects and this time search for the soften and sharpen effect and drag that down onto your footage. Close the effects and on the right hand side here now we've got the lens distortion transform and then the soften and sharpen. What we're going to do is we're just going to take the edge off of the sharpness of this image just to try and simulate a kind of older vintage anamorphic look. All we're going to do here is leave all of these things as the default values and then we're going to open up the global blend section here and we're just going to reduce the amount of blur or softening that we're adding. If you move it all the way to zero there'll be no effect. So I'm just going to use the mouse wheel here to zoom in, hold down the middle button to scroll around. And you can see in the texture of this bench, if I just increase the blurriness, we're losing a bit of that sharpness in the bench here. Just be careful you don't use too much, otherwise things might start to look a bit cartoon-like if you look here in the jacket here. As I increase this all the way to max, maybe things get a bit too soft. So we're just gonna start off around the 0.5 setting. If I toggle this off and then back on again, it's pretty subtle. It just gives us a little bit of softness to take the edge off that modern spherical feeling glass. If you want to, you can also play with these settings here just to adjust the texture. I'm not gonna bother in this video. All right, let's take a look at the finished video full screen. You can see we've got a little bit of warping from that distortion. We've got the aspect ratio and we've got a little bit less sharpness than the original image. If you want to get an even more anamorphic feel, you can go and add some digital lens flares in using Resolve, and that's exactly what you'll learn about in this next video. I'm Jason Roberts. Please subscribe. I'd really appreciate that, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.